Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a tutorial on how to use Teni to identify whether an image has been doctored. Disinformation is one of the major challenges of our time. Uh, we're constantly on social media seeing images that may or may not have been doctored, and while the tools that exist to make things, um, make these doctored images, uh, get more and more complex, there are also some pretty sophisticated tools for identifying whether an image has been manipulated. Um, so I'm going to go into one of these tools, Teni, and one process that you might follow. Okay, so I um, am going to use an example of uh, an image involving uh, President Barack Obama, um, Hugo Chavez, and Ahmadinejad, um, the former president of Iran. The question is, is this image authentic? Uh, is this a real image? How could you tell? Well, you can uh, either download this image or copy a link to the location and then go to tini.com um, as one of the ways that you can do these things. Um, Tini is a reverse image search tool. So its goal is to take a picture and compare it against its database of you know 42 billion images, I think they say, um, and compare uh, the image to other similar images. So you can find uh, instances where an image um, looks similar to other images, which indicates that one of them might be manipulated in some way or, or doctored. Um, for what it's worth, uh, Tinei's business model is a little bit different from an organization like Google's. Um, Tinei, uh says that it doesn't hold on to your images after you supply them, um, and they don't keep a record of the people who use their tool. Uh, while Google uh, image search, it's a big vacuum. They that is part of their model. Um, okay, so let's let's go into how this works. Uh, if I go to this image, I can either upload uh, the image that we took, or I can hit Control V and uh, have them search by the the image URL. And it shows that this image um, matches 301 different images inside. Uh, the Tenai database. And at the very top, you see uh, the one that we were talking about uh, from something called apoliticalawakening2.com. And then you can see that a whole bunch of the other images that emerge look fairly, I mean, like, it seems like there's one big standard, and then uh, the image that we uploaded is something of an outlier. If we click on the image, um, which appears to have arisen around 2006, we can like pull up the original source, or we can look at the image itself and make a comparison. All right, so here's the uh, image from uh, farhangi7080.nihonblog.com, um, and you can compare this image to the one that we uploaded, and you can see that it looks like Hugo Chavez and Ahmadinejad are kind of cut and paste out of one scene and into another, right? Um, so it looks pretty clear from our doing this search that someone took a fairly uh, well-used and, and frequently used uh, image and then added Obama into it uh, in order to make it appear that Obama was with these guys, right? Now, if we wanted to, we could filter by domain. Um, we could, let's see if it's possible to do it this way. Um, yeah, so we could just look at the sites that are hosted on WordPress. We could just look at, um, let's see, I'm trying to find, the most frequent use is WordPress, but it might be useful to find um, some sort of official news outlet that this started with. Maybe bajurtov.com? Now this is a pretty early use of the term. In fact, it, well, okay, let's, let's try another method here. So, so far we've been searching by best match, but what if we wanted to look at the oldest version of this image, which might be the original image? It does a search. Uh, and then orders things by tags, and it looks like this image originally showed up, or the first recorded instance of it was something called Mega Resistencia 
dot com. Uh, so this may be one of the earlier uses of the image, although we can see that it's fairly low resolution. Things tend to start out at high resolution and then get smaller over time as they're copied or screenshotted or turned into a thumbnail or something like that. Um, so it might be, well, here's another uh, instance, and this one has a higher resolution. So we can see a lot of the earlier versions of this image did come from news sites. Um, if we wanted to see the most changed version, um, we can sort that way. So it, it shows images within the database that are very clearly different according to the analysis. So here is a like brief cover or something like that, which shows Hugo Chavez and Ahmadinejad as part of a larger graphic, right? Ah, and look at this. So here is Obama talking to, God, is that a boss? Um, so here's the original image that appears to be the source of the Obama side of this picture. So whoever it is that doctored this picture took the Obama image and then spliced it together with the Hugo Chavez image. So that's really interesting. So Tenai doesn't allow you to know absolutely what the most authentic version of an image is, but it does allow you to identify where this image matches other images, which gives you a sense of whether it might be a manipulation or the other images might be a, ma a manipulation. It gives you the context of where these images showed up. So if we wanted to, we could go to the news sites uh, or the blogs where these images are originally emerged and see whether, you know, there's an original photographer credit or um, whether it is tied to a relevant event that you can confirm happening in the past. Like, it's probably pretty well documented when Obama met with Abbas or if he met with Hugo Chavez and Ahmadinejad, <laughs> um, right? So there, by using tools like Tenai to find the origins of the images that you're looking at, you're going to be better informed about whether they're authentic. And it just gives you another tool to judge whether the media you're seeing is uh, some sort of falsified record. Okay, thanks for watching.